So, you have a weed. Maybe it's collecting dust in your closet, or maybe you just don't know what to do with it. Well, I do. You need to homebrew your Wii. With it, you can play retro games, any Wii game, and more for free. But something Wii games have lacked for years is its online play service. But you can bring that back too, with a homebrew service called Winnie 5. Stay tuned and get your Wii hooked up, because in this video, we're going to play the Wii online in the easiest way possible. Let's begin. First things first, let's go over what you need. You'll need a computer with an SD card slot and internet connection. You'll also need an SD card or an adapter. This is pretty standard for anything homebrew so make sure you have them. And of course, you'll need a Wii. Pretty difficult to mod a Wii without a Wii. On the Wii, there must be the homebrew channel installed and internet set up correctly. If you don't know how to homebrew your Wii, check out the video in the description. Now with that aside, let's move on to the real stuff. If you want to patch Wii discs to work with the service, this is the best way to do it. If you're looking to patch WiiWare games, then move on to part 2. We'll install WinniFi with a special tool called Preloader. This is normally used to back up your Wii in case you send it to Jesus by accident, but it has many system hacks like online play. Here's how to install it. First, go to the link in the description and download the files required for Preloader to run. Once they've downloaded, extract the contents of the zip file to your apps folder on the SD card. With that set up, you may remove the SD card from the computer and place it in your Wii. For the two people who have a Wii Mini, this won't work for you. Now, turn on your Wii and boot up the homebrew channel. In it, load the app called Preloader Installer. As it loads, it may look a little creepy, but most homebrew apps look like this because graphics aren't really a concern, as the main focus is that it works. These apps are very safe to run too. To install, simply press all the plus button and the installer will quickly do its thing. Once it finishes, you may exit the installer and proceed to the home menu. Now, turn off your Wii. You won't initially see anything, but press the power and reset button and hold and the preloader menu will come up. If you see something like this, it worked. But we still have one more step, and that's to enable the online play patcher. So go into system menu hacks and scroll through the list. You're looking for something like, Winnie IFI patch version 4. Once you've found it, enable it. Now, save the settings and exit out the preloader by pressing on, system menu. And congrats, you're done. Now all discs launched from the disc channel will automatically patch to use WinniFi. No code, no running anything every time, and the patch automatically removes itself from the game once you've finished. If you want to play WiiWare games on WinniFi, then you have to use a separate patcher. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do that, it will premiere next Friday. Hope you tune into it. Check the channel for updates. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. So few of our viewers subscribe even after liking the video, and it impacts our channel. Subscribing keeps our channel running, and even just a single sub provides us the motivation to keep growing. We are a very small channel right now, and we desperately need your help to grow. Thank you for supporting our channel. Remember, part 2 launches next Friday. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.